happy to have you here. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thanks for being back and Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2023 and I'm actually sharing with you the nails that I did on New Year's Eve specifically to go out for New Year's. Um, so let's get into it. So you'll see that I cleansed off um, my nails. I have a builder gel layer on right now and I'm going in with this leaf gel uh, flash glitter cat eye gel. So it's both flash glitter, which means it's this reflective type of glitter where if you shine a light on it, it flashes back really brightly. And also it's cat eye. So I'll be using a magnet to create an interesting effect. And the effect I wanted to try for this was, I'm not sure if it has a name, but I'm going to call it the spotlight effect. Um, so I'm starting off by activating the cat eye gel the same way I always do just by running the magnet along either side of the nail, um, then the bottom and then the top or the top and the bottom. I don't know which is the top and which is the bottom. What do you think? Um, anyway, then I'm taking the magnet and I'm creating circles basically just, just, you can see I'm, <laughs> I'm moving it around in circles and I'm starting out wide and then slowly getting a little more concentrated. And you can see it's creating this little spot of light, um, like a spotlight. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's the look we're going for. I looked around my Instagram to see if I had any super specific, um, like first inspiration I could point to, but I don't, I've kind of just seen this around. Maybe you have too. I feel like a lot of cat eye trends um, that I've seen have come from often like Chinese nail artists or Japanese nail artists, and I don't think this is an exception, but if you have any idea who started this exact technique, of course, let me know. I think it's really pretty, and I think also that it made for a really cool layering effect with the film that I'm going to put on the nail um, in a little bit here. So, yeah. Anyway, so um, I am going ahead and continuing this on each finger again, just making concentric circles and slowly making it smaller and smaller, tighter and tighter to create the spotlight effect. And I am also kind of just checking in. This is something you need to do with any cat eye look um, is constantly just, you know, move your finger around and see if it's doing the thing you want it to. In this case it was, so I'm going in for a flash cure. And if you've watched any previous videos, you'll know that I say this every time, but it bears repeating in case you're new to cat eye. Um, after each nail, you want to go ahead and flash cure. And that is so that you are able to um, seal in the cat eye effect that you've created on each nail, because obviously, as you can see, the magnet is going close to the pointer finger as I'm doing the middle finger. So if I hadn't flash cured the pointer finger, you know, it would be affected by the magnet as I go on to do the next finger. So, and so on. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure it does, but you know, you never know who is watching, um, watching a cat eye video for the first time if they were to stumble upon this. So better safe than sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry if it's redundant. But yes, I'm finishing this on each of the nails, and I really, really enjoy this polish. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I like Leaf Gel's products a lot. They are a Japanese brand, and it seems like they've been in the game for a long time. Um, and in my experience, they have very high-quality products, and this is no exception. The cat eye moves really well um, with this polish. I like it. So here we go, going in for the full cure. And I'm using this um, reflective film that I've used before to create kind of um, a take on ice nails, I guess you could say. Um, this, you know, my boyfriend, I don't know what I'll name this, <laughs> this video, but I do like to consult my boyfriend sometimes. Um, I think it's fun because he has no concept of nail art, and so to ask him what something looks like, you know, he ha he's like a completely fresh set of eyes. And he said that this nail look should be called, what did he say? Plasma flash. 
plasma meaning to do with lightning um, or lightning nails because they they do kind of resemble lightning, um, like nighttime lightning or something um, in the end with the way they reflect. But basically, this is another take on um, ice nails. And if you're interested, I have done um, two other nail looks with the same set of uh, reflective um, film. So if you're interested, I'll pop those thumbnails up here and I'll put a link to those videos in the description if you would like to watch them. But anyway, what I'm doing is taking um, a little rectangle of this film and I'm just applying a very thin layer of gel onto the nails and then placing the film on top um, and trying to get it as centered as possible. So some key tips with this, you don't want to make the film too wide because you're going to have to encapsulate it um, and you don't want to be encapsulating super far out in terms of width um, on your nails. So you'll see here, I'm going ahead, applying a very thin layer of gel, picking up a piece of film that I've already cut out, placing it on top, um, and yeah and then flash curing and then after this we'll go in and encapsulate and i'm sure you can see that the film that i'm working with is um, very thin and very translucent and i really specifically loved the translucent part of this and because of the fact that it's so see-through it really only creates like a little impression of the color either yellow or blue depending on which way you shift it um, and sometimes even green. Um, but because it's so transparent, translucent, you can't really see where it starts and finishes. So if it's not a perfect shape, um, it didn't, it wasn't really a concern, which is great. Um, so now we're going in and encapsulating. And to do that, I am basically um, using uh, this builder gel the same way I would if I were just doing an overlay on natural nails. Um, so creating like a slip layer, which is just a thin layer of gel and then adding a bigger glob essentially to try and create the shape of the nail. So the apex, which is the, um, kind of arch of the nail that helps, um, it, first of all, it looks nice. And secondly, it helps to support longer nails. Um, and yes, when doing these nails, I intentionally, had a thin layer of builder gel on my natural nail. I always have a builder gel of some type on my nail. Usually it's luminary gel. And um, in this case, I went really thin and I didn't really create an apex before I got started with this. And this is a tip for ice nails because you need to encapsulate that sheet of, um, of film. Often you need to put like kind of a dome of gel on top of the film. And so if you do put product on your nails beforehand, keeping it thin and then knowing that you're going to add that strength and that shape at the end is important. And I did want to point out as well that this is a really thin, um, a really thin film and there are also thicker films. I'll pop an image of one of the thicker types of film that I have and they create kind of a different type of ice nail. So um, if you use a thinner film, it can kind of conform to the nail more and create this, I would say, subtler effect. And then you can also use um, uh, the, you know, more sturdy one to create um, a more like almost like you're putting a gem on your nail. It looks it looks very different. I will put an image of a test nail that I did with a thicker film that I have as well, just to show you kind of the difference if you're not familiar. So off camera, I went ahead and <laughs> finished filed these nails. I actually had some obligations online with friends um, on New Year's Eve, and I went ahead and did this filing <laughs> um, while I was online with them, and so it's not showed here. But look how pretty these look matte. I feel like you can really see a lot of the ways that the film reflects um, when they're matte, and I really, I really enjoyed that. I think, you know, sometimes I feel like I want to do a matte finish, and 
you know, it does look really cool, but it's like you kind of can never shy away from just a really super shiny finish, or at least I can't. It's hard to choose matte over shiny for me, even though it also looks really cool. But anyway, I'm just using the Izemi resin top coat in high to create like a really high gloss um, finish at the end here. Um, and that's essentially the look. Um, thank you so much for, by the way, for being here. Um, I have had a lot of fun making videos in the past year and I appreciate anyone who's supported me by either watching or, you know, watching and commenting. If you watch and comment, thank you so much. If you watch silently, thank you so much. Um, here's the finished look. I look forward to making more videos for you <laughs> this year.